Let's get with the comments because we got a long, a lot of comments, you motherfuckers. Appreciate you guys for commenting. Our social medias, of course, are at X is at Sunman665. And uh, for IG, it's at the underscore underground underscore broadcast. Fuck TikTok. We do have one, but I am no longer uploading videos because they shadow banned me there. Motherfuckers. Uh, so, yeah, you know what that's like. Anything you send me on my social medias, as long as it's not porn or your credentials, I will show here. You know, anything interesting, you know, memes and shit like that. I don't know. If you send it within time, you send it to me Friday afternoon at 5 p.m., an hour before the show, I might not be getting it on time, motherfucker. So make sure you send me that shit early. Just like Super Saiyan Joku, who sent me this earlier. He says, Order up, son of man, at the Underground Broadcast. My Uncle Pete, the plumber. And he even put his handle, Mary, Married to Mary Jane, ML for Life. I don't know what MW for Life is. that a gang? Oh, that's badass. He says, Stop, he stopped by for a smoke session only to get right for the night. I'll blaze up and stay up. Cheers, mother flowers. Hashtag. Hashtag marijuana. Hashtag Mary Jane. Hashtag. Smoke weed every day. Oh yeah, cheers, motherfuckers. You know how we do. Mm. Let me let me take a look at some of these pictures, Joku. Uh, you sent them to me earlier, so I didn't have a, 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 a time to freaking look at it. So this this is weird. I don't live in a state where this shit is legal. I had to go buy these from the brown people down the street, and they usually rip me off. And sometimes I don't even know if it's actual weed or what. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> Apparently, you bought 14 grams, which is a lot, by the way, for 170 bucks. But here's the weird part is you got 10% off because of some text or email, meaning you ordered it by email. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then something about you got $25 off for high supply, simply herb, root, and I don't know what that means. Uh, what's all this crap? City tax, $2. Cannabis tax, $10. Sales tax, $6, $20 of tax. You've got to be kidding me. Um, but you got $71 in discount, so this fucking $170 really cost you uh, $118 for 14 grams. That's pretty fucking cheap, bro. That's still cheaper than, 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 than if I bought 14 grand from the motherfuckers down the street, it'd be a lot more than... Than fucking 120 bucks. Damn. My state is behind on this shit, man. I'm telling you. Uh, that's fucking badass, Joku. Every time you fucking send me these, I get so jealous. Uh, and it's got a bunch of shit. It's got THCA, 27.1%. And uh, see, this is what bothers me is because, like, what does all this mean, you know? Cannaboids, 22%. Is this weed or not? Is what I, this, if I was going to these stores and they told me all of these percentages, I'm like, look, motherfucker, is this weed or not? What is this? You're trying to sell me. Motherfucker, don't be talking to me in percentages and shit. This ain't no school. The motherfucker trying to get high. But I'll tell you what, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, you motherfucker. You lucky SOB. You tell your uncle, uh, the plumber, Pete. He's a badass right there. He's an OG motherfucker tatted up and shit. You let him know that, that we're making him tonight official Woke Pack member because he looks like a real G. He's a Woke Pack now, motherfucker. You know what it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Cheers, Uncle Pete, the plumber. Motherfucker, always cleaning the pipes for the ladies, huh? Ah, oh, yeah. Fucking Uncle Pete. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get with the comments because there's a lot of fucking comments. And the very first comment is this fucking guy who wrote a book. This guy named Daniel McGibbon, 1589. God damn it. It's usually Indie Phantom. He hasn't been here in a while. Hold the motherfucker safe. Listen to our prayers and our, and our good energy out to Indie Phantom. has been missing in action for months already. We hope he's fine. Uh, but Daniel McGibbon on the Dracula movie says... The track record for any take on the core Universal monster films over the past 30 years has been abysmal. And to be honest, Coppola's much admired Dracula had some uneven casting that made it distracting to watch. Oh, it's one of these. Each film is so blatantly imprinted on what studio execs are pushing for the story. Oh my god. 
What the fuck? Let me let me just Van Helsing, Monster Squad style cheesy cartoon of horror. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. The Mummy, Tom Cruise fucking up and all that ass. All right, let's just fuck it. I'm just summarizing it here. This motherfucker. He, I don't know what he. I didn't go to college, motherfucker. You want me to fucking keep your attention span with this shit? Look at this. I digress back to Dracula, the main concept. I don't know what he's talking about. Modern audiences. This guy's getting all philosophical and shit. Uh, the generations give a rat's ass about gar gothic horror. They they gall about Tim Burton and shit. He says. I don't know, he seems to be upset about about woke people, I think. Photocopy of photocopy and Photoshop, apparently. He says, there's hardly a film that hasn't in the past eight years. Make it work. Uh, eh, let me just skip all this. I enjoyed your post. Thank you for my comment. Let's see what the trailer shows us on this one. All right, don't you see? You should have just fucking ended it with that. Instead of writing all that shit, you should have just put, I enjoyed your post. Thank you for comment. Let's see what the trailer shows. That's pretty much it. <laughs> the motherfucker, I don't have a lot of a big attention span and I'm not educated. So you fucking writing all of this really smart shit uh, doesn't go well with me. All right. Uh, I do appreciate you commenting and uh, being smart because we need more smart people in the world. Yes, Gomer. Monster Squad is the shit. I love that fucking movie. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, let's see who's next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheers to fucking uh, Daniel McGibbon, and I'll give you the DJ horn for commenting a whole book and being smarter than the rest of us. <laughs> Cheers. Holy shit, Anthony Timmons is here. Cheers, Timmons. <laughs> Yo, yeah, motherfuckers, thank you for being here. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing good. Uh, our next comment comes from this channel's resident Asian, Robo Iger. Let me hit it for this guy. Konnichiwa. And Robo says uh, on the podcast video, a bunch of laughing emojis, and he says, No, you don't look Asian. I'm just sitting here with Halia laughing at your nonsense. She's happy you like the AI art. Our DJ is back. Cash grab time. He puts a laughing uh, little guy. He says, cheers to the man. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Robo. You and Holia, your wife, are the shit. And thank you for the AI art of me. We showed last week. That was badass. I actually put one of those as my private uh, IG account that no one knows. It's my personal account. I actually put one of those motherfuckers up there. I think all my friends think that's actually me, but oh well. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm glad I don't look Asian and shit. You know, uh, I think we the world would be in serious trouble if the Asian people started looking like this. You know, they're like the last re uh, uh, refuge or whatever it's called. You know, motherfuckers are, are disciplined. In their ways because you know the circumstances they were born under uh after we bombed the shit out of their country it's not their fault but you know they still became better than the rest of us cheers robo i'm talking about the japanese not the chinese sorry the japanese the chinese are just assholes <laughs> nah, i just play robo i just play you're a shit robo you know i love you you chinese motherfucker all right all right Let's see who else is next Oh, it's none other than a fucking Satanist. Uh, Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for this dick. Where are you? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. Uh, he says on the Comic-Con uh, live shit we did. That was fun. Thank you for the ones who showed up for the Comic-Con shit that we did. Uh, that was badass. Uh, I think it was the cunt. Joku was here. Some people came in and out. That was badass. RDJ as Doom, he says, let's freaking go. Obviously a money grab, but there needed to be this to get into people's wallets. Yeah, yeah, again. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you for that, motherfucker. And you're right. I mean, they needed to. They need. We're going to talk about more of this later and shit, but there was no way in hell... That the the this universe was gonna continue being successful unless they did something this desperate, and they did, and yeah, uh, it, it's gonna get our cash for sure. For the first time in five years, they're actually gonna get our cash. 
They're actually, they're going to have to wait two more years because then we don't come out for two more years. And then they'll get our cash. Until then, we're still pirating. Anyways, let's keep going. Thank you, Rocco, for commenting. Love you. Oh, Depose. He put what up, goat? Oh, that's badass. I've never been called a goat before. I've been called a pig and a bitch, uh, but never a goat. That's pretty badass. Cheers, Depost. He continues, though. He wrote some other shit. Uh, well, later on, because I saw him other comments. Tenants, I'm reading your comment right now, motherfucker. On the House of Dragons has lesbians. He puts a, another reason for me not to watch. Don't want to see dicks. Don't want to see any of that shit. <laughs> Fucking Timmons. Hey, what's your problem with dicks, Timmons? All right, everybody's got one. All right, there's nothing wrong with dicks. All right, just just calm down. You know, look down every once in a while. Touch it. It's, it's fine. There's nothing scary about it. <laughs> Cheers, Timmons. Do the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Larry Land, I heard our DJ is playing Black Panther also. <laughs> well, we do, we need a male Black Panther. Fuck Letitia Wright and her non-vaccinated ass. Get her the fuck out of here. Cheers, Timmons. Timmons also says on the X-Men lineup revealed, Fuck the MCU, fuck Disney, I don't trust any of them. <laughs> Fucking Timmons. Yeah, yeah, you're starting to sound crazy, Timmons. Take it easy. <laughs> Depose, he says... Hey, Underground, if you could join the X-Men, what would be your superpower besides drinking beer? Oh, I've thought about this long, 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 long. When I was a kid, I wanted to be like The Flash or Quicksilver. Uh, but then I found out about Nightcrawler, and I said Nightcrawler's way better than fucking being Flash. Uh, or Quicksilver. I think Nightcrawler's way better. Uh, but then, now, I just, like, I don't want to be exactly like them. I want to have something like a, a, a different power. And I thought about it. And I said, I know what my power would be. I, I would be like Smoke from Mortal Kombat. I would just turn into Smoke and fade away. And then travel as a fucking, just fucking gas or smoke. And then psh, materialize again where the fuck I want. <laughs> and the smoke would be weed smoke. So I could get high while I travel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I would fucking do if I had fucking X-Men powers, motherfuckers. I don't know about y'all. What y'all powers would be? That's what I would be. I would be smoke. Oh, uh, yeah, weed smoke is my power, motherfucker. Into a cloud of weed smoke. Oh. End up somewhere else and just be high all day. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That all of a sudden, a hundred million dollars are missing from the federal bank. And they're all like, sir, all the money is gone. And they're all like, what happened? I don't know. But it smells a lot like weed in here. Oh, cheers! Live. <laughs> That's what I would fucking do, motherfuckers. Cheers, Depost. Thank you for that. I knew I was going to have fun uh, fucking answering that. Depots on the House of Dragon Lesbians. He says, hey, maybe Kamala Harris can join. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. She likes men. She likes dicks. All right. Let's not start spraying rumors, Depot. She's a hoe. She likes. She slept around in college. She, she had her legs wide open. You know, she likes it. All right. There's nothing wrong with women like dicks. Nothing wrong with lesbians either. We just don't support them. That's all. Hey, we stick you deep post. Let's get going. Depost on the call, the underground reading your comments video. He says, I'm waiting for the latest Puff Daddy video to see where he takes a dig this time. Goat, goat, goat. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been quiet. You know, I don't know when this trial is. It's going to be, you know, fucking back again and shit. Uh, but we don't have any Diddy news tonight, Depost. I'm sorry, man. Believe me, I'm always on it. I'm waiting for a new Diddy. I'm waiting for a new rapey to, to come forward. I'm ready for a new video to fucking uh, come out uh, of him beating somebody and shit. You know, or selling selling somebody, somebody's body. Having some guy suck his dick. I'm definitely waiting for that video, but it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, yeah. Gomer says, I want to be 21 again as my power. Like, forever? You're going to be 21 years old forever? That'd be your power? That'd be kind of... That'd be kind of weird. 
I think if I was to pick an age where I would stay forever, I'd pick like 28. I think that's when I was like, pff, that was like peak. You know what I'm saying? My body and, 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 and everything, you know, my voice. I didn't even sound like this, this rough back then. This is age right here, fellas. This is what happens with time. Um, they can depost. See who else commented here. Anthony Timmons on the Ski Bitty Toilet live action uh, in the works video. Ass. I fucking hate that shit. I, I literally, seriously do. So, that looks seriously disgusting. Michael Bay's near the bottom of the barrel, and this is bullshit. This bullshit is proof. I don't know why he is doing this. So I, at first I thought, oh, maybe he doesn't even know what it is. He hasn't even seen a video. No, well, why the fuck would you want to do it if you hadn't? Yes, he knows. He knows what it is. I just don't understand. He's an idiot. There are certain things on YouTube that went viral and have millions of views. And I don't understand why. This is one of them. It is the most annoying, uh, weirdest, dumbest, stupid shit in the world. It is seriously, it is. I hate it. I hate it. The, when the internet was young, it was cool because there was a lot of weird stuff on there. I remember there was. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. It was it YouTube? I don't even remember. I remember because there was some kids, um, a very very long time ago. I got put in charge of looking over these fucking kids. They must have been like six or seven years old. A bunch of them. And I didn't want to bother with them, so I just put them in front of the computer and here you go. And one of them, I forgot if it was YouTube or if it was a website. But it was something like, um, uh, Happy Friends or something like that. It was like, like some kind of cute little animation of like little teddy bears or, or rabbits and shit and they would like get on their school bus or so, something but something would always happen where they would get to hear the, uh, the school bus would crash and they would all die and some of them would get decapitated or something like that and it was different you know videos and they all had different things but in the end the damn things would always die and i was just like where did you find this? And why? Who, who showed you this? And they're little kids. And I'm like, who showed you this ass? You're not supposed to be watching this. But I was just like, but hang on. Put another one because it's kind of funny. I remember what it was called. They also showed me another one. And it was like, this one was fucked up. It definitely wasn't for kids. I liked it though. It was the Ratted Skull and Devil Doll. I think that's on YouTube. If you look it up, it'll still come out. That one was weird. And then another one, it was like, Mr... Oh, Mr. Bad and no strong bad strong bad and some other guy some guy who looked like a fucking like a wrestler it is some weird flash animations and, and they're fucked up but I don't know why these kids were looking at them but I got hooked on them because you know I just get high when I went home I just get high and watch those fucking videos and be laughing and shit um so yeah the internet uh is ass and Michael Bay's an ass for doing this skate bitty toilet shit, the dumbass. Let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Anthony Timmons on the Polly Shore did it. Uh, that he murdered Richard Simmons. I was saying. He says Polly Shore has always been an odd duck. At this point, nothing would surprise me. Shady as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Polly Shore went online this week and was saying some ass about like, oh, Richard Simmons died and and he, the, those posts about him saying that he didn't like me and he didn't want me to do the movie, that wasn't even him writing it. It was someone else. So, you know, I'm going to keep forward with the movie. Yeah, fucking Richard Simmons' own brother had to go online and said, nobody fucking social media for Richard. Nobody wrote his post. What he wrote was his words. And if he didn't approve of that pathetic, jobless son of a bitch playing him in a movie, then neither does his family. Fuck you, Polly Shore. That's what his brother said, not me. Um, so yeah, fuck you, Polly Shore. You dumbass. You still trying to make that movie? You idiot. No one's going to watch it. We're going to boycott it, you dick. Desecrating the legacy of a legend. Anyways, Anthony Timmons also on the Takashi 69 R I S uh, I R S 
uh, auction. He says, this guy's a waste of skin to do that to those cars, that fucking idiot. And by the way, it's not letting me thumbs up the video again. Just letting you know, son. Fucking YouTube. We already got copyright strikes for posting and showing shit someone else already showed. And it's all over the internet, too, fucking dicks. Uh, and now they're not even letting people put the, the, the like button. I bet you if you put the dislike button, it'll come out. Sons of bitches. You know what? At this time, I'm so desperate. Four years into this shit, we barely have 600 subscribers. I'm so desperate. I will take your dislikes. If everyone dislikes the videos, maybe we'll get more popular. We'll be the most disliked motherfucker on the internet. I'm fine with that, you dicks. Cheers, Anthony Timmons. I'm lighting up again for you. I gotta put it out every time I take a hit because I don't want to waste it. Y'all motherfuckers, I don't like wasting this shit. Every, every, every hit has to count. All right, we don't let it stay there burning, dumbass. We're hard times, all right? The Biden's economy, hard times. Bruh, bruh, bur, burn. You know what? This motherfucker, I don't know if he's here tonight or not. Is it burn the world or is it brine or barn? Beern? I don't know. This motherfucker, I never asked him. <laughs> I should have asked him when I was on their podcast fucking around. Anyways, this pumpkin patch son of a bitch. He says, also Gary Newman oh, on the skibbity toilet. Uh, Michael Bay. Also Gary Newman, the creator of Gmod on Steam, got copyright DMCA takedowns by Michael Bay's company. Oh, what did he show? Fucking Michael Bay. He says, uh, Michael Bay already thinks he owns the rights to skibbity toilet before he even made the movie. <laughs> Uh, he continues and he says, This movie will be a major failure, 100%. It's a series on YouTube shorts that Brian Roth's kids, that Brain Roth's kids, no adult is going to see the latest Michael Bay abomination. I still don't understand why the fuck this is being made, why people are giving him money to make it. I mean, has anybody even seen it? Has he seen it? God damn it. I, if you haven't seen it, I hope you don't see it. Because you're gonna hate it. Alright. Ski bitty toilet. It's fucking stupid. Short fucking one minute videos of idiocracy. That's basically where we're at right now. God damn it. Cheers, Prime, you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, you know you know on this channel there's a warning in the beginning, and if you read it, you know what this is all about. Uh, but Brian, my, something I said or did or whatever the fuck, this guy thought it was real. <laughs> he was still on Twitter, like, I'm gonna talk about it on my podcast. And I'm like, motherfucker, we just trolling. <laughs> whatever we say, you better go search on the internet to see if it's true. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is purely for entertainment purposes. You dumbass. All right, let's keep going, Brian. We love you. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. So, we have someone new, Willow the Th Therian, I1Q. <laughs> Willow the Therian, I1Q. A brand new person who commented on the dude's podcast number 78. The review of Bubba Fett episode 5. The Batgirl having fucking lesbianism. And, uh, and I don't even know what else. <laughs> a video from like three and a half years ago. When we first fucking started the channel. When he, who should not be named, was on the channel. Before he abandoned us. And quit. Son of a bitch. And when I saw this. It pissed me off. Not because of her comment. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ship. I'm thinking it's a her. I don't know. They. Not because of their comment. Alright? That's not why I was pissed. I was pissed because this is a damn old fucking video with he who should not be named on it. God damn it. If we ever get discovered, the fuck I want it to be because someone runs into a dude's podcast. It better be the underground broadcast you're running into and not the dude's podcast. Anyways... Let me read her comment. We'll, we'll we'll get into this right now. But 
Let me read her comment. She goes, I find it offensive that you called her an animal. What if this person's family was watching? They already have a bunch of news reports. You don't need to talk crap about them. What she did was wrong, but you don't know their personal life at home. Um. So, this is another reason why this kind of pissed me off. Because this is a three and a half year old video. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Or they are talking about. Please, if you leave a comment about something specifically in a three hour long video, leave a timestamp so that I can click on it and know what you're talking about. Anyways, I have OCD and I'm obsessive about shit. And I just, oh, I got angered because I played this video and I was sitting through it. And I was watching the face of that son of a bitch. And every word coming out of his mouth was making me angrier and angrier. But I sat there and I fucking listened until the part that she was talking about came out. And then it clicked. And I understood everything she's talking about. So, I'm going to play you. Exactly what she's talking about, but before I do, I'll give you a little bit of context because I'm not playing the whole fucking segment because fuck that guy. And and, and I blurred, I, I took his face off because we're not showing that son of a bitch on here. I took his face off, but I can't take his voice off because you need to hear what we're talking about. So unfortunately, we have to hear that son of a bitch's voice. But anyways, uh, give you some context because I'm not showing you the whole conversation. It's when we used to do the pervert news, the weekly pervert news, and you know what it usually was. It was another teacher that slept with a student. That's what we're talking about. Some teacher that slept with her student. Here we go. That is fucked up, dude. And it's always a lady who says, my husband is not satisfying me. Yeah, yeah. The guy's a small dick. Bitch, like, how about you fucking tell him? To get some Viagra or some shit? There's no Instead such thing like... as dick implants. You dick, you got a small dick, you got a small dick. What you gonna do? Well, I mean, why did you marry the guy in the first place? Maybe she was in love. And then you realize that that's just a bunch of bullshit and we're really just animals who want sex. She's an animal, for sure. She's an animal, for sure. She's an animal, for sure. There you go. That's the kind of racist, misogynist crap that held this channel back for three fucking years. All right. Now we're free from the racism and the misogynist and the bullshit that used to be on the other side of the screen. He's gone. And now we're woke. Now we're modern. And now we're all back on track on being fucking, you know, politically correct on this channel. So, Willow, I'm not going to apologize for what some racist said three years ago on my, on my channel. All right. Fuck that guy. He's no longer here. All right. <laughs> and we're glad he's gone. This channel's way better without him. That's all I'm going to say. None of the bullshit. There's no more racism here. There's no more fucking, you know, misogynists here and shit. Everything we say is clean cut and shit. Melanie Mack, if she ever runs into this channel, she's going to pray. She's going to be, oh, the son of man. She's going to son of man. You know, fucking, she's going to love this shit. Little girl, that hateful, hateful little girl. Uh, but anyways... Uh, thank you for commenting, Willow. Please, if you're running, don't watch the dude's podcast anymore. We have a playlist if you want to go back and watch from the beginning how it all started. And it evolved every year. Every year it evolved. And the last year, the dude's podcast, towards the end, was fucking, to me, was the peak. And then he fucked up and left, that piece of shit. So now we're here. Episode 25. Of this new underground broadcast. Son of man. You know how it is. And everyone down here, let them know. It's always. Whoa, hack. Oh, 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 oh
which reminds me, I'm green lighting a green light on that fucking son of a bitch, he who should not be named. If any of you woke pack members run into him in the street, you jump out of your car, beat the crap out of him, and leave. You don't join a gang and think you can just fucking quit whenever you want. Fuck you. You're in it for life. That's what we say. Four, 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 live. Do it again. Motherfucker, you ain't quitting the gang. The gang's beating your ass up. If we watch you and we catch you in the streets, son of a bitch. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. If you run into him, don't do that. I'm just fucking around, people. <laughs> uh, Deep post on uh, reading comments. He says, and in December, you can hang the buzz balls in your tree. <sighs> I was promoting buzz ball chillers last week. And you blew my fucking mind, Depots. Those things are perfect to hang. And they come in all different colors. They got pina coladas and, and, and green apples and strawberries, watermelons, and coffee. So they're all different colors. If you go buy, buy a bunch of them, you could hang them all in your tree. And it probably would look pimp as fuck. Just go and go and say. Uh, so cheers, Depots. You blew my mind with that comment, motherfucker. I'll just tell you that. Depots also in the comments, he goes... Anyway, you're still the most entertaining YouTube podcast out there. Broadcast. Uh, out there. You have to do more marketing. Cheers, Mike. Enjoy the buzz. Uh, yeah, man. They're the motherfuckers. That's, that's the problem with YouTube. That's why it's been four years and we only have 600 subscribers. It's because YouTube purposely, like you said, the like button doesn't work. Some motherfuckers say, oh, I never got a notification for your video that came out. And shit. Jose Trevino, I could never find the podcast video the other week. He's telling me and shit. So, you know, like, they always try to sabotage motherfuckers, like, small channels, because they want to force, force small channels to give them money to promote and come out and get subscribers and shit. And it's really just a bunch of bots that they hire. Oh, he paid us 20 bucks. Give him 100 bots. And all of a sudden, you get 100 subscribers. And boom, you don't fucking see no one commenting and no one viewing your videos. We have 600 fucking subscribers and only like 26 views on each fucking video. And that's on the podcast. And all the fucking videos only get like one or two views. So fuck you, YouTube. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. It'd be 10 years from now, we're gonna get a thousand subscribers to be celebrating here. I'm gonna be 70 years old. Be like, oh, yeah, so a thousand subscribers, we made it! <laughs> Fuck you, YouTube. They fucking hate us. Anyways, thank you, Depost, for stating the obvious. <laughs> Let's keep going. Anthony Timmons on a Not Everything is Hateful video. The 80s movie was awesome. Great cast. Uh, he's talking about the, the running man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for this re Edgar Wright remake. It's going to be badass, is all I'm going to say. Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, it was. I love Arnold. I love me some Arnold. I was just watching Terminator 2 Judgment Day on TV. Oh, yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> Uh, Anthony Timmons on the Billy Ray messy divorce continues. He says she was just using him, but that's what he gets for trusting her in the first place. Why does he sound like Stone Cold after he smoked seven packs of cigarettes? He did kind of sound like that. You know, he not sounding like all fucked up and shit, but he was all drunk probably. And he's old as fuck. Fucking looking like Johnny Depp or not Johnny Depp, Rob Zombie and shit. Um, of course, when you marry someone who's half your age and really, really fucking good looking way beyond your fucking league, you know she just wants something out of you. Duh. You're Billy Ray Cyrus, who's the father of Miley Cyrus? Oh, yeah. She don't want nothing from you, dumbass. I hope her pussy was good for, you know, the two months you were married to her, you fucked her. Then you yell, oh, it's too loose. I'm divorcing your ass. Yeah, yeah. That's what you get for getting married in the first place. Idiot. Anyways. Oh my god. Speaking of misogyny, here's our resident our resident fucking asshole. Uh no ma'am. Let's hit it for this guy. No ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. Alright. Uh no ma'am says Son of man, I just got home from the draft theater. I saw Deadpool again. It was even more dope the second time around. I'ma keep it drinking here at home watching your ass. Cheers, son. Hashtag. Whoa.
live. Oh, yeah, 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 motherfucker. Chairs, no man. This motherfucker's. He saw Deadpool. I, I think he. This motherfucker has a hookup at the theater or something because he saw Deadpool before it came out. And you know, uh, before even the pirated version came out. Dude, you guys. Uh, last Saturday, I got home from work. I put on YouTube and the first on my TV. I put YouTube on my TV and the first recommendation, it was Deadpool Wolverine 1080p. It said, uh, uh, whatever, a full movie. And I was like, and I clicked on it <laughs> and it was not only that, but it was a cleaner version than all the 10 versions I had downloaded uh, uh, off the, the the Jack Sparrow Bay. And the audio was fucking perfect. I understood everything they were saying. And I was just like, wow. And I freaking turned my computer on and I downloaded that YouTube video. By the next, by probably by the next hour and a half, they had taken it down. But some son of a bitch got the best looking Deadpool and Wolverine trailer and put it up on YouTube. It already had like 36,000 views and shit. I was kind of mad. I even put a comment on the video i said fuck you we get two copyright strikes for putting fucking pictures from twitter and y'all motherfuckers putting a whole fucking goddamn movie in excellent quality by the way thank you i put my comment there and shit uh but yeah i was mad because nothing happens to motherfuckers like that we fucking get you know picked on all the time by the the big the big machine fuck you youtube anyways let's keep, keep it going <laughs> timmins thank you no ma'am Timmons, have, have the Harvey Weinstein was hospitalized. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Karma's a bitch. Harvey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. He still hasn't gotten what he's going to deserve. All right, Selma Hayek's going to choke him to death with those titties when he gets there. And it's not going to be pretty. Uh, R. Kelly experiences depression. Timmons says he should have left those little kids alone. Fucking perv. Yeah, this, this, there's some people that they're just fucking. I don't even know how to describe this guy. What? <sighs> Fuck that guy. He, he, I'm glad he's in jail, man. But I, I hope bad things happen to him in jail. I just say it like that. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it clean on this channel. All right. But anyways, try to keep positive too. I don't wanna, you know, send a lot of bad vibes out there. R. Kelly. On the R. Kelly video, uh, Deep Post also says, R. Kelly singing every night in jail when he gets it up the axe of the, of the ass. Goat. He must be jail's favorite sweetheart. Rocket, rocket, rocket. Red rocket. I hope so. He deserves it. I'm just gonna say it like that. A motherfucker. Deep Post also says on the fucking uh, rain... The rain, the Running Man video. The remake, the re remake movies are so bad. The remakes of Tron and Total Recall are so bad. Um, the remakes of Tron were actually sequels. They were not remakes, motherfucker. It was a sequel to the to the first Tron, and I liked it. I liked the the new Tron because I was high as fuck and I saw it with the 3D glasses, and I was just like, this is the greatest. This is what 3D was invented for for movies like Tron. I was just like, those motorcycles and the, the, the lights. Oh, it was so fucking badass, you know. Uh, but the Total Recall, yes, I agree. They fucked it up completely. They had hot chicks. They had Charlize Theron and uh, what's her name from fucking Under, Underworld. They had that chick there too. And somehow they still managed to fuck up the movie. You know, and they even had, uh, what's his name? Fucking Australian motherfucker. Bad boy motherfucker likes to fight. Forgot what his name. Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Oh, uh, yeah, that movie was just so, it was not at all like Arnold's, and they just, it de deviated away from it too damn much. Uh, it was not good. It's not good. So, but I, I don't know, I think, I, I have faith in Edgar Wright. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Edgar Wright will hopefully knock it all apart. I think he knew that Marvel was ass, so he left. He's like, oh, you don't want to let me do my Ant-Man? You want ass on screen? I'll get someone else to do ass. I only do good shit. And he left Marvel. So I, I have respect for him for that. All right. And I have hope. He continues. He says, Arnold made that movie great. Nobody can replace Arnold's persona. He was bigger in life. And nobody without charisma, but with just a cool jawline, will replace him. Come on. No, this guy, this guy, pretty boy's good. I like this guy. That's all I'm saying. Like, you know, 
He's good in that Twisters movie. He's good in the fucking Top Gun. You know, don't worry. He's fucking rock hard abs, and nice chest, no no hair on his chest neither. This is all clean, waxed. It's badass. He's got a good tan too. Deep post. Just say. Cheers. Give your comment to. Jess Rivers on the R. Kelly Experiences Depression says This man is the lowest piece of filth on earth. He deserves everything he gets. Are you talking about R. Kelly or are you talking about me, Jess? You motherfucker. You know what? Come to think about it, the last comment you you fucking left was like this and shit. You better start being specific. All right, I was gonna say Pacific. Uh, you better start being specific. I'm high now, motherfuckers. Oh yeah, you better start being specific, Jess. Are you trash talking me or are you trash talking R. Kelly? Just want to know. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for commenting, Jess. All right, all right. Continue. Oh my God, I, I think it's been a while in this motherfucker. None other than fucking. Dog on funny. We're headed for this ass. Woke as fuck. Uh, Doug says, Wow, what a week. Our DJ coming back. Wow. I hadn't seen your video because. Let me. Oh, it's gonna fuck up the minute I touch this. Oh, no, I didn't. Thank God. He says, I didn't watch your video because I didn't want. Spoilers for Deadpool and Wolverine. My son and I finally saw it yesterday. It was so awesome. I'm finally somewhat excited for the future of the MCU. We'll see what happens. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Live. Cheers, Doug Unfunny. I think a lot of people have gotten that that. That, that feeling, that rush, that, that, that old familiar rush, that feeling we used to get at Comic Cons when Marvel, you know, would come out and, and announce shit. Because, you know, the past five years, what the fuck, man? You know, it's... At the very least, we're going to get two good movies. Right? The very least. The two Avengers movies. That's it. We can look forward to that, because the Russos are in charge now. All right. Thank you, Doug, uh, for coming back. I'm sure you're watching this shit. Like you said, you hadn't watched it because you don't want spoilers, you motherfucker. That's what this channel is, just spoilers. Cheers. You know I love you. Anthony Timmons on the uh, All I Need is Scarlet Yost. Scar Joe can save anything. Yeah, yeah. With her big ass and big titties. Oh, yeah. She just had some kids, too, so you know she's filled. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Scarlet Yost. <laughs> we love you. On this channel. We worship you on this channel, Scarlet. <laughs> Go, Mikhail, on the RV Weinstein is hospitalized. Uh... He put uh, in a Jerry Seinfeld snarky voice. That's, <laughs> ah, that's a shame. Yeah, fucking Gomer chairs, Gomer. I like, I like that. He also said on the on the House of Dragon, le has lesbians. But where are all the dongs at? LOL. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. <laughs> Fucking Gomer, I like that shit. Um, don't worry, Gomer. The dicks are coming. They're coming soon. All right. We saw we saw a, a part of a dick. There was a girl sucking a dick like two episodes ago. It was too fast. It was too fast. I told you guys it was too quick. I saw it though. I saw it. Uh, not enough dicks. Not enough dicks. You're absolutely right. Don't worry. I have faith that the last episode of House of Dragons will have plenty of dicks. Keep our fingers crossed. Uh, let's keep going. 
Gomer on the Billy Ray Cyrus. He says, my mom hated Billy Ray. He was in a feud with Marty Stewart. Uh, who's Marty Stewart, motherfucker? And he was messing with one of mom's favorite men singers. She called him a no talent who wears tight jeans and he didn't even have an ass. She would say, oh, cheers, hashtag. <laughs> Your mom's a badass. Hashtag. Uh, P.S. He's trying to dress like my boy Rob Zombie, but without his talent. He's got the voice, though. Cheers, Gomer. And your mom. Your mom's badass. Super Saiyan Joku. On the Billy Ray Cyrus video says, A big shock here. Not everyone in the world know, knew he was being used but him. Oh, he says, uh, His whole family's a freaking hot mess. Cheers, mother flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what happens when you have a lot of money and you're a hick. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's keep going. We got more comments. Uh, Joku also says in R. Kelly, that audio is 100% from a concert. That's not the song to be singing in jail. I would sing, I believe I can fly, bro, signaling the booty warrior from the boondocks. Hey, son of man, the say R. Kelly sucks dick. Throw his butthole. Cheers. What? I don't, you know, I've seen, I, okay, I know what the boondocks are, and I've seen some episodes. I've seen some, but I'm not like that. I've never really got... I think I think when they were out, I probably didn't have access like I do on nowadays to see it all. Um, I saw a few episodes, you know, I did, I did. It's fucking super smart, uh, super fucking genius. That, that kid, because he was a kid who came up with it. Uh, he's a fucking really smart motherfucker. I'll just tell you that. Um... But I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's boondocks, and you know, you're probably talking about ass and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may probably makes sense. It probably makes sense. I, I believe you. He says, hashtag. Live. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. He also is this the last one? Are you the last one? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Did the last comment. All right, which still we went an hour. I knew there was a lot of comments. He says, uh, we'll start the show pretty soon, guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to take a break. But anyways, Gomer says, on the uh, 69's uh, IRS fucking shit, he says, who wants those cars? Anybody that pays $90,000 on this paintball piece of shit hot mess is a fool. Cheers, mother flowers. I don't know who the fuck paid... Uh, money to win that auction. I would have been like, Nembe, somebody already threw paint on them. I don't want to. It should be a bigger discount. I'm fucking sell them for 20 grand. The motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, chairs, Joku. Uh, thank you all for commenting. I really do appreciate you commenting on some nights when I don't have a lot to talk about. You literally make the show because the show would fucking be finished in like an hour and shit. So I really do appreciate your comments. I read everyone's comments, even if you're talking shit. Just to let you know, I don't really give a fuck. Uh, just remember, if you're going to put bad words to misspell or do pronunciations or do something different, because YouTube is fucking dicks to everyone, and our channel especially gets fucking uh, censored all the time. Just ask the motherfuckers in the bottom. They get censored all the time. Their comments they don't even come out. I don't delete comments. Why the fuck would I want to delete comments? I want more people coming in. All right? Anyways. Uh, so, anyways, thank you all for commenting. I appreciate you. Uh, but before I do leave you, uh, goodbye for the comments. We have our very own resident Gomer Kyle with this weekly Rednick Advice. Here we go. Hey, this is Gopher, and welcome back to Redneck Advice of the Week. You know, I look on the internet, and I see a bunch of these women saying, Why well, we don't need men. Oh, this and that. We can burn our bras and whatnot. Well, you know what? The hell you do need men. 
because without men, you wouldn't be able to kill a spider or a bug or reach on the top shelf to get something or pick a restaurant out to eat. Hell, if it weren't for a man, women, they'd be driving around for hours just trying to go back to McDonald's. Anyway, my advice for you is the next time a woman says, we don't need a man, you tell them, the hell you don't because we still have spiders and you still can't pick out where you want to eat every time we go out. Cheers. Hashtag woke fight for life. Hashtag woke son for life. All right, I guess uh, fucking Gomer is the new misogynist of the fucking channel. Wait, we don't need he who should not be named. We got a very old misogynist here, Gomer Cow. <laughs> Gomer, I am utterly offended by this, you son of a bitch. Like, uh, uh, I just want to know. <laughs> I want to know one thing, Gomer. It's why when you got to the part where you were going to say, Hey, bitch. Uh... You don't need men, you know, all this shit. Why, well, all of a sudden, your voice got super quiet. <laughs> you didn't want your wife to fucking hear you say the bad part. <laughs> Go over, I fucking love you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're the shit. Uh, hey, I'm scared of spiders, motherfucker. I need a big man around. Kill, kill the spiders or a bug for me. And then, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when I'm really high, I'm, I'm driving around not knowing what to get to eat. <laughs> I know I'm hungry. I just don't know what I want. So, I guess I am a woman inside. Hey, maybe I should take up boxing. I heard they're letting us in, fellas. Oh, yeah, yes. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.